whenever I grab this and pull this out, it'll help this quarter panel shift back into place. Previously on Inside the Body Shop. I have a Honda CRV here. This one got tagged down low. You can see how all this is completely folded up. So I have this old trunk floor here and it has these sound deadening pads inside of here. I have to reproduce those so we just get generic uh, sound deadening pads and I'm going to put these down inside this trunk roughly just how they had it here. I always heat these up. It allows them to fit the contour better and they stick a lot better when they're warm. So this is cavity wax, and it sprays through this wand here, and this wand sprays in a 360 degree pattern, and I'm gonna fish in all these holes and hose this stuff inside of there and it helps prevent any rust from forming. It coats all the bare metal that you can't get to. So we went ahead and dropped the suspension down loose on this one because I have to get up inside of here to seal up these seams. Otherwise moisture would get in there and it would start rusting. So I gotta seal up all the seams around that trunk floor. And then we'll put the suspension back up once this is all finished up underneath here. I have a Hyundai Sonata here. This one got hit up high in this back rear body panel right here. Stuffed it really good and it stuffed enough when that went in, it shifted these quarter panels and it caused buckles. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but there's buckles in both quarter panels right here. So it's gonna get a new back panel. I have the new one here, but first I gotta pull all of this damage out because whenever I grab this and pull this out, it'll help this quarter panel shift back into place where it's supposed to be 
before I cut this off because if I just cut this off, these quarter panels will be out of whack and then I will have a hard time getting all of this shifted back where it's supposed to be because I won't have this old panel to use to pull off of. So I'm gonna make a few pulls first. So I got this all roughly pulled out, the buckles and the quarter panels relaxed, and I had to tap on them. It's going to take a little bit of glaze work to finish them out, but the stress is not on those quarter panels anymore after I pulled all that out. And I have the used trunk lid roughly fit up and my gaps look pretty good. So I am going to go ahead and start cutting this rear body panel off of this one, start fitting the new one up. So I'm gonna get my pulling post back out here. This floor right here is pooched right in this area. If you guys can see, it's just kind of folded up a little bit right here and right here, and this bracket's rolled. So I'm gonna get my pulling post back out and just put a little tension on that and work that back into shape. And then I will start fitting up the new rear body panel. Okay. 